Well, we're finally getting a chance to get out and do some sightseeing. We're going to be heading over to Custer State Park today. We are still in South Dakota. Uh, and Don wants to see the fluffy cows. So yeah, they we had we just missed the buffalo roundup by like one day. So they're all kind of corralled up at the moment. So you can kind of go see them in their uh, non natural habitat <laughs> but yeah they actually do this for a couple of reasons one to make sure the herd is healthy weed out any weak links in the herd and to be honest the weak links become um for lack of a better way to put it delicious buffalo burgers i don't, I don't know anyways we're gonna be heading over there uh in just a few minutes Okay, selfie time. <laughs> My hair's a mess. <laughs> My hair's a mess. Oh, I had that tilted the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> so at Custer State Park, we're going to see the fluffy cows. And interstation, self service. Uh, okay, I guess we got to drive through anyway just to make sure that we got it. the entrance. Yeah, we got a number of things we're going to see today. So, starting out with Custer State Park. This looks familiar. I think we were here. I think we've been to this visitor center before. Ooh, a little stream. Yeah, I think we were here in 2020, would that have been? 2019. No, excuse me, 2019. Yeah, we came here when we set up our domicile and all that. to a volunteer that told us we can actually drive closer to the buffalo yep. if we take do. this side road right here right next to the wildlife station visitor center mm -hmm. so we are going off on a dirt road yeah this is Luke. cps road oh, three is open to the public so i'm actually going to get up close to my buffalo So we're closer anyway, but Don's getting some good pictures of the camera that you will see now. But yeah, they're a little ways off. Some of them way up, up on the hillside. That's pretty funny. Yep, so this is as close as we get. And then again, we don't want to get too close anyway, right? detour about three four miles off on a dirt road and we just drive just past the bison center and we run into this guy right all by himself right off the road he's coming this way just i'd say if he starts to get too oh my gosh check that out objects are a lot closer than they appear yeah i thought don was going to get out but now he's almost to the road so i think you're probably good just sitting in the door there yeah that's what i'm doing Fluffy cow moments. <laughs> he started way off from the distance when we first got here. Yeah. And he's like coming right up to the road. It's like he, he noticed, oh, there's people. It's, uh, let's see if, it, if I can cause a one buffalo traffic jam. By the way, if you're wondering, bison and buffalo refer to the same animal here yes. in America. Uh, scientists like to use the word bison. Now, you think about it, bison is actually a translation of the word beef. So, so those people who are all upset me making jokes about wanting to eat, that's uh, not their beef. I'm hoping you can see how close he is in this GoPro. Oh, 
Holy cow. Your height? Oh, look. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Oh, you are so smart. I don't have any I snacks. Snacks. Sorry, I don't. I don't have any snacks. Sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the people behind have snacks. No snacks. Sorry. Sorry. No touchy if you have no snacks. Yeah, no touchy. Oh, you should see that. I'm getting the stink eye. Yeah, stink eye. I'm getting stink eye. <laughs> <laughs> see, I told you. Oh my gosh. Okay, look behind you. Behind That's me. the car that had the snacks. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Okay, the car that was handing out snacks, they are surrounded. <laughs> So before we end this video, we're going to give you a sneak peek of what's coming up next week. We're going to be sticking around South Dakota for a little bit longer. We're going to be heading over to the town of Deadwood and also visit the gravesite of Wild Bill Hickok and Calamity Jane. We will then be leaving that area, heading west, and eventually getting to Monroe Campground again, where Don had a close encounter of the moo kind. Then a couple more stops before we finally get back to Sun. Arizona and back to our digs here in Sunflower RV Resort. So that's going to be it for this episode. Hit that subscription button. Give us a thumbs up for good measure. And what else? Oh yeah, the notification bell lets you know when we post every Sunday at 2 and we will see you on the road.